Hi guys, I am here to finish out with 20.2, Monday's lessons, 20.2. Um, we're gonna talk about the words resources, scarce and plentiful. So we're on 20.2 in the Go Math book. I'm gonna read the definition of resources for you and then kind of describe and explain a little bit more about those words. Resources are things that are produced and used. So we talked in science about natural resources. So if a natural resource is something that's found in nature that we use, like we find a tree in nature and then we use that wood to make furniture or to make um, paper. Um, so a resource is anything that is produced and used. A natural resource is something that's found in nature that is produced and used. A resource just in general could be a natural resource or it could be a man-made resource, but it's anything that we're producing and using. So it's, it's anything. It's really anything. Anything that can be used by you for something um, that needs to be produced is considered a resource. Okay. So um, when I'm going to go ahead and keep reading here. It says, when many toy sets are made, the resources are plentiful. When few toy sets are made, the resources are scarce. So again, we have two words here. We have the word plentiful and we have the word scarce. We need to talk about this. I'm going to read it again. The, um, when many toy sets are made, the resources are plentiful. So that means that if you make and produce a lot of something, so anything that had, there's a lot of it, that is the word plentiful. There's another word that is um, used sometimes and that's the word abundant. So anytime you have a lot of something, that you have a plentiful amount. If you do not have a lot of something or if there are a few items of that, then the, that resource is considered scarce. It is a scarce resource. So we're talking about resources, anything that is produced and used, you can have a plentiful am 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 amount of resources or you can have a scarce amount of resources. So, so if something is plentiful, there's a lot of it. If it's scarce, there is not a lot of it. Um, so those are kind of the definitions for this um, unit. What I do wanna talk about with 20.2 in terms of um, using numbers, um, if a resource is plentiful, if there is a lot of a resource, there's a ton of it out there, you can find it very easily, um, there, there's a lot, then that means that the price is typically, is typically going to be lower for that item. And you'll hear a lot about this with like, with produce, anything that is, um, well, kind of natural resource. Um, if, let's say fruit, fruit is a really good example. There are some, there are summer fruits and then there are winter fruits. If it is summertime and there are a lot of strawberries, berries, watermelons, any kind of fruit that is it considered a summer fruit, that means that it is able to be produced very quickly, very easily. Um, and so then that means that there's a lot of that. So um, the price for summer fruit is going to be lower in the summer because there's a lot of it. If you have the same summer fruit, let's call it a strawberry, and you wanted to buy strawberries in the winter, you're not gonna find a whole lot of strawberries. They're gonna be really, really small. There might not be as many, and that's because they're harder to grow, produce during the winter months. Therefore, if there is a scarce amount of strawberries in the winter, that means it's going to be more expensive because for the, the crop owners who are trying to produce those strawberries, it's going to be more difficult for them to grow the strawberries. It's going to be harder for them to get them into the stores. So in order to make up the cost of them having to, having littler, uh, smaller amount of them, they're going to need to make up that cost by charging more for the item. So I want you to remember this, where it's gonna be an opposite relationship, okay? So I want you to do this, and every time you think of scarce and plentiful, I want you to do this, okay? So if the, op if the resource is plentiful, that means there's a lot of the item, the price will be lower. It is an opposite relationship. If there is a lot of an item, the price will be lower. This is 
typically for most things, there is obviously always an exception. So plentiful resources, lower price. Okay, so always think about just this opposite relationship. If there are fewer items, if the, if the resource is scarce, that means there's not a whole lot of it, what is the price gonna do? Same thing, opposite relationship, the price goes up. So fewer resources, higher price. Okay, so always think of the opposite. If there's plentiful resources, lower price. Opposite relationship, plentiful, lower price. Scarce, higher price, okay? So a lot of the questions in 20.2 are gonna be asking you about the relationship between how many items there are and the price that is going to go with it, okay? So if you look at 20.2, it talks about a toy set and there's toy set colors, okay? There's blue, orange, red, purple, green. The one, the color that has the least number made, and I'm, you might have to go back and forth between the screens. I'm sorry if you haven't, if you're not able to print this out, but I want you to know that the number of toy sets that has the least number made is the red. They only made 500 red toy sets. Because there are not a whole lot of red toy sets, those might be kind of more of a popular item because they are, maybe it's a collector's item, um, but that means that people probably want it more or it's more sought after because there's less of them. It's, it's kind of like a, a, like you want what you can't have, I guess. Um, so there is only 500 red toy car sets made which means that they're, remember, the, the lower number of items that there are, the higher the price. So if you look at the chart, the cost per set, $99 for one red toy car set. That's way higher than all the rest of them. You have $32, $30, $29, and $28. So this $99, that's a way, way, way more expensive. And that is because there are so few red toy car sets, they have to charge more for those particular items. The less number of uh, red toy car sets or less number of car toy car sets or any resource at all, the fewer the number, the higher the price. The higher the number, the lower the price, okay? So that's what I need you to remember when answering these questions for 20.2 is the opposite relationship. Always remember that, okay? Um, that's gonna conclude. Let me make sure I have all the definitions there for you. Yes, yeah, so 20.2 is um, talking about resources, scarcity, and um, things that are plentiful. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me on Teams or send me an email and I'm happy to answer it for you. I hope this helps and I will see you guys for the next unit 20.3, which we'll be doing on Wednesday. Have a good day.